it comes up, going to a test. This time everybody, believe me, giving up their best. Some of the people pulling their weights, going hand in hand, making one big effort with full couple. I myself would like to see a folk festival done in a folk form, in the round. I would like to see more audience participation. You remember that marvelous bit when the Indian on stage, the wild Indian, was greeted by a fellow in the audience, and there was a splendid interplay, which showed immediately how alive the whole thing is, even in uh, urban Fort Spain. It was really a marvelous moment, and this is the sort of thing one wants. So I think we ought to recast our thoughts on how the festival ought to be run. If the United States of America occupied this country during the Second World War and introduced certain of their cultural forms to this country, and those cultural forms have been adopted by people of this country, no matter where they are, no matter how isolated in community they are, then to those people, these cultural forms form part of their folk. Certainly, generally, if you have impositions that are being made on the, the culture of the country, as we see constantly today through the mass media, then these things cannot be accepted as indigenous folk. The thing that we are driving at is this authenticity. And in spite of all change that is possible, I would prefer that only personality changes should occur. One would like to see the things remain not in a rigid, original form, but certainly as original as they were. Otherwise, we are going to have, as we are having now, soul invested into Calypso. Um, in time, I think it will be maybe not as big as Carnival, but I can see that it will be as popular. And now, the placing of the villagers for the Prime Minister's Best Village Trophy. Number three, Sukram. Number two, Mount St. George. And now, would you like to announce the number one, sir? Number one, Siparia. We'd like, ladies and gentlemen, to say well done to Siparia.